So I'm visiting the kitchen of Acha. It's a delivery only kitchen and they sell or deliver Indian food. There it is, Acha. What are you going to be making now? Uh, Pav Bhaji. It's Adit's mother's recipe. She learnt it from a Pav Bhaji wala. Guys, we have ginger and garlic paste with us. Yes. How many portions are you making now? Around 10 portions. Okay. of the power bar.
now adding the potatoes. Okay. This is boiled and boiled. mashed. Yeah, boiled and mashed. almost done I just need to add the, the peas and the butter and that's done. Peas. So these are garden peas? Yeah. Now it has a nice color with the peas it's popping the peas Is the most important thing of Pavari butter. Mm -hmm. It's considerably not less than what you do in India. Yeah. So now you just have to wait for the butter to melt and so yeah this is done. So I'll just slice it for you. That's very kind of you, thank you. Shall I put some butter or you'll do it? No, we'll do it. Yeah, so that's done. Customers can like add when they're having the pav bhaji, okay. so it gives a nice tangy touch. So the bread we use is a, a Scottish tatty bun. We, we experimented with loads of breads, a normal you know, bun that you get in a supermarket, yeah. a brioche. Obviously in India it's a different kind of sweet bun, it's very difficult to source that here. In the end we settled for this. The thing with brioche and stuff like that is it contains a lot of preservatives and it contains egg and soya, actually brioche. So this is a very simple bun that our baker, where we get our sourdough from, he bakes this as well for us. But it's got actually a little bit of potato in it as well. Oh, potato? Uh, yeah. Oh, and that's why it's called patty. Yeah, exactly. Um, right but it's nice and with butter it's really nice. There's a little bit of sourness which goes quite well with the bar budget. It's something a little bit different that we like and I think our customers like it too. So It's baked locally, about literally a five minute walk away. He comes and delivers it by bicycle, it's all local. We like to source up as locally as possible. What's the best way to heat it? Heat it yeah. for bar budget in a frying pan with a little bit of butter, oil and really push it down so it soaks up all of that flavour. Thank you very much. now this is the bhaji this is the pav when they deliver it it's usually been toasted but we specifically asked for it not to be toasted so we could toast it at home so i'm first going to start by toasting the bun in a pan so i'm going to put a little bit of butter and a little bit of oil the oil goes in first so once the oil is heated for a minute or two put in a generous knob of butter so you put in oil first and then the butter. The oil prevents the butter from burning. Don't use margarine because it just won't have that taste. So once the butter is melted, just stick in the pav or the buns. Just let it heat gently. So while the bread is toasting, let's heat up the bhaji. So what you want to do when you're heating the bread rolls is to ensure that all of the bread is covered with the oil and butter.
Okay, let's turn this around. It's been tossing for a few minutes. Can you hear that Christmas? That's what you want to aim for. Okay, so the buns are nicely toasting away. The body is bubbling away as well. It's all looking good. You may be wondering what's in the pan here. It's our favorite. Mung dal. You may remember we made a video of that a while back, but today it's about the pow bhaji. So let's have a quick look, see how we're getting on with the pow. Look at that. Perfectly toasted, not burnt. Stick on the rack so it doesn't steam up. Gonna add a little bit of coriander. Just for garnish. I've added tomato and onion just to achieve that extra desi taste. So delicious, I'm going to take another bite. So first couple of tastes just of the bhaji by itself. All I can say is it's superbly spiced. Great balance of flavours. Some stool holders, they water down their bhaji. These guys don't water it down. It's reduced down, so it has that strong, spicy flavour of the vegetables. Just the crisp power by itself. Perfectly toasted. It's a unique bread. It's a unique pow. Very flavoursome. A slight tanginess, crispy, buttery, and just full of flavour. A bit more tomato and onion. Let's have a taste of it together. This is seriously tasty. Take another taste while it's still piping hot. So the bhaji by itself was a little bit spicy, but when you have it with the pow, it just tones everything down a bit. It tastes very buttery. You get a little hint of garlic. You get a little hint of ginger. The fresh crunch from the onions and the fresh tanginess from the tomatoes. Absolutely, truly delicious. Because the pow is crispy and the bhaji is soft, an additional crunch from the freshly chopped onion. It's a wonderful clash of textures, a clash of textures in a nice way. The Pawaji masala spices which I've used have perfectly achieved that little taste of India. It looked like it was gonna taste very special and I have to say that it did live up to what it looked like. World famous, delicious Indian street food. Call it comfort food if you wish. It's like the Pawaji is giving you a warm hug. I can't wait for the day that these guys open up a shop. I'll be there every day.